Sherman Oaks was an amazing show. In fact, we're going to present it to uh, TV Land in the, in the next couple of weeks. It was uh, created by Chris Beard, mm -hmm. who created um, uh, uh, Sonny and Cher and, and was head writer on Laughing and Gong Show. Um, and it's about a dysfunctional family in Sherman Oaks. And um, in every show, there's an earthquake. And each of the family members tries to guess what number it is on the Richter scale. And it's, it's body comedy, and it was for Showtime. And um, some of the topics were very, very um, uh, difficult to approach and, and even more fun to make fun of. Um, Chris is, is, he's totally nuts. You know, there's a scene in one of them where, um, the maid, an Hispanic woman, very, very beautiful Hispanic woman, who likes to do about everybody who walks through the house, um, she, um, she has an encounter with the gardener by a tree in the backyard, and she's doing the gardener while the gardener still has the weed whacker in his hand, <laughs> and the weed whacker keeps hitting the tree, and it carves the visage of the Blessed Mother in the tree. <laughs> Great. And Christians from all over Orange County in Southern California come to see the visage of the Blessed Mother in the tree. I mean, that's how nuts. Chris was. Was there just, was it a totally different experience working for pay cable, like, to do? I yeah, to it was. We, we, um, we, we made a lot of that show. We, um, the premise of the show was a young filmmaker gets invited to live with a family and document them. Well, the mother is a feng shui wacko. The father is a, um, plastic surgeon with girlfriends on the side. The daughter is a sex queen with 38 double Ds, who is the sweetest woman in the world, but one or two screw looses. And the son is a white kid who somehow, through his association with his black friends, thinks he's black. So he talks the language. And they there is a nephew whose father is has been imprisoned who comes to live with the family who is more right wing than Ted Cruz mm -hmm. and that's the family and whatever happens in between happens in between and it's uh, it was an amazing show and we produced that show for we, we did We did 31 setups in two and a half days. Wow. Uh, locations. Right. Locations, not just setups. Wow. It was pretty astounding. So um, we think that TV Land, who is looking for a show for 40-year-old um, women plus, um, could be great. Could be a lot of fun. You think it'll lose anything with some of the subject matter comedy? Yeah, we'll take, we'll take some of the TNA <laughs> out. You know, not much, but enough. Right. Um, it's a lot of political comedy. Right. Yeah.